Return to the Forest, released just over a week ago, and it is currently the game I am addicted to the most. It is just so much fun playing this game, and just seeing some of the things you can do at this moment during early access is incredible. The game has sold over 2 million copies. It's one of the most streamed horror games at this moment in time, which is just beautiful to see. Now, over the last couple of days, N Knight have done a Q&A on Reddit, and we have some of the questions here. I'm not going to be picking them all out because there is quite a few here, which is just like, well, OK, we understand that. So we're going to dive straight into these and see what's going to become of the future of Sons of the Forest. The first one they were asked about was AI improvements. Kelvin and Virginia, they don't really do a lot during the game at this moment in time, but they have come back and said they have big plans to keep adding tasks for Kelvin to do. Some ideas in progress are having him help construct a wall around your base, fortify, repair the base when needed, which is absolutely fantastic, because at this moment in time, you all you can do is finish structure, collect logs, collect sticks, take a break, take item. There's not a lot Kelvin can do at this moment. But seeing that they want to do this, I am all for it. For Virginia, they do plan to add more to her AI, particularly giving her more bravery if she has a weapon, and also depending on how many mutants cannibals she has killed, make her more brave towards them and give her more confidence. Another question that was asked was regarding the characters that we play and who we see as our friends who come into them. Are we going to get any more lore? Are we going to get any more background on these characters in the game? And Knight have said there's going to be a lot more lore and a lot more story pickups, which is amazing. And they've also said there's going to be new areas and also extra cutscenes that will work to expand and flesh out the story. That's one of the things that me and my friends currently have the issue with is how fast we completed the game. If they're going to add more cutscenes, brand new story and other lore, that is going to be brilliant. This one here, I was like, ooh, this is good. What happened to the various scrapped ideas of the game? Kelvin's original name was Robbie. Night vision goggles, solar panels, the climbing axe, battery chargers. These are things I would love in this game. And Knight came back with and said, there's a lot of features and they are partially in the game and they will be coming in future patches. Calvin actually had a few different names over the course of his development. He was originally called him Zombie Boy, then Robbie, which is still what End Knight call him. So why can't we call him Robbie? Because that's the name in the code. But they settled on Kelvin. They've also asked as well about transportation. Trying to get around this map sometimes, it can take a while. They were asked, is there going to be a faster form of transportation? And I did answer that they do have a cool idea for this, but they don't want to go into detail because it may not be as fun as they think, or it doesn't work as well as what they are hoping for. How about when those golf carts, you know, they could be fun to use. Is scattered around the island. Another big question that was asked as well by the community. Will it be going to console after full release? The Forest never actually released on PlayStation until 2018, I believe. Which was four years after it was released on PC. So, this is what N Knight have said. We would be really excited to bring the game to PlayStation and possibly Xbox after the early access period but we do not currently have any firm plans. Right now, we want to just make this the best PC game we are able to. I'm all for it. Many players are asking for features, but they may already be work in progress. Could we be given a roadmap of features and additional content coming in the future that you can currently share? This will prevent repeated requests and improve the overall community experience. I absolutely love it when a company does do a roadmap. However, the question is, like, if it's already there, do you really want to know if it's there or do you want to be surprised? And with that, End Knight actually came back with a similar answer. We don't want to promise features that might not make it, but also like surprising players with cool stuff that they might not be expecting. We do read all the comments and feature requests and try and implement the best fitting ideas. During this game as well, you know, we've seen certain things that... There's no blueprints like there were in the first game, and you can only craft certain items. They were asked, will there be an expansion on the crafting system? 
Currently, what you can actually craft is very limited. And Knight replied with, There will likely be new items you can craft as we see what items players want and what would improve the game. The next couple of questions are really some of the most important ones as well. Me and my friends, we finished it in a matter of hours. Even though we were exploring the GPS, it does make it a lot more easier to locate the story and to make your way through certain things. If those pings weren't on the GPS, that would have made it a little bit more, uh, ooh, right, okay, we can explore the area, we can explore the world. Which is what someone has actually asked. How does End Knight plan to improve the pacing of the game? Players are finding the GPS system is locating the entire story for them immediately instead of over time, which would give more incentive to build and explore. People have suggested possibly adding a compass and the ability to mark points of interest instead. End Knight did come back with, We do have a bunch of ideas we are currently discussing internally, but don't yet have a perfect solution. We do agree it's an issue, and some players are just running all the way to the ending instead of living existing in this world. Currently on YouTube, I believe there's a speed run of just below 8 minutes, which is insane. Again, they are doing the stick trick where they're putting the stick down and then go through locked doors if they haven't got the key cards. But again, no, it's still below 8 minutes. Blueprints, like I was discussing earlier, people have asked, will there be more building options? Currently, the freeform building, while very unique, is also very limited in what you can actually do, such as the ghost blueprints. And Knight have said there will be new ghost blueprints added as well as improvements and extensions to the freeform system. That's what I can't wait for. That is going to be absolutely amazing. Another question I was asked, how does the team plan to expand on hunting survival aspects of the game? We do have some ideas, but nothing concrete we can share yet. Okay, for the hunting, I do want to see more animals, because at this moment we got a couple of deer, we have a couple of turtles, we have a moose, Again, no, with the moose, you, you you know, you can skin him a little bit and you can take the meat, but you can't take the horns. You can't take the head away, you know, like on the other game where you could place it as a, uh, as a, you know, as a statue on your wall, like the shark heads. That would be cool to see. And if they implement things like that, I do think it would be great. Now, before we do actually finish this, there is one question which was asked more than anything else. Will the log sled make a return? End Knight come out with, This is one of the really cool things about early access. Internally, we didn't realize how much people really liked the log sled, and due to the amount of bugs I had in the first game, we were not sure if it was worth putting it back in or not. In the last week since release, it's become clear that it's something players miss. One million percent yes. This thing, the log sled, people need this to get the logs from the log holders to where they're building. And sometimes it can be a real pain in the ass. But the log sled, yes, I can see that coming back. Obviously, with it being the most asked question as well, I think End Knight are going to go, yeah, let's just put it back in. That's what's going to happen. Let me know if you're enjoying Sons of the Forest down below, guys, and we'll see you all soon.